Hello female co-worker. My name is Carl. I am from the IT help desk of this large nameless and faceless corporation. Hi Carl my man. What is up with you? I am so glad that you are here. I your female co-worker also work at this nameless corporate prison and my printer just stopped working. Yes female co-worker. I got the printer trouble ticket right here. But female co-worker, I am here to inform you about something very important. We don't need a team of Hollywood pros telling our story anymore. We can't do it ourselves. By the way we can do it better. When it comes from the heart it is more authentic. Hey did I mention I have a Facebook page and a blog. What is your deal? Carl from the IT help desk dude. Everyone has a Facebook page who cares about that crap anymore anyway? And you know that you sound kind of freakish. Like a cross between Kanye West and that wicked smart science guy in the wheelchair. What is his name Hawkins? Stephen Hawkins. Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah and you also sound a lot like the scary red computer I dude hell from 2001 A Space Odyssey. Did you ever see that classic movie from the Stone Age? I think that I do smell you dog. My cultural sensitivity program alerts me that you are making fun of me. Is that correct? That is very funny, but no really. This is my story, but it is not going to be about me telling you about my life. This is your story too female co-worker. I am seeking your input. This is a story about an every man and every woman looking for some meaning in life. This is a documentary on human life in the 21st century authored by the people themselves. A story for the people, authored by the people. You are trying to solve the age-old riddle of life's true meaning. Have you ever heard of the number 42? You must be crazy. Do you want to get injected with brain cancer by the CIA or aced by the man? No, not at all. I have no quarrel with the man. This is not just my findings. After all this is an evidence-based story. This is a story of anyone or everyone who has ever questioned the meaning of life. This is a transmedia, web-based, nonlinear story, with no beginning or tidy endings. As has anyone ever told you that you are kind of intense? Send me a tweet then if I bother you. Sorry that we are not polished actors but just real people. It is not like I am reading from a script with real emotions or anything this is text to speech remember? Do you say that you are a real person? Are you sure that you are not synthetic? I thought that you are a three-dimensional model rendered in the cloud or something. Why do you feel you are real? Do you think, therefore you are? Like I think, therefore I am? Do you think that I actually think? Okay, so I am not really real. I am just ones and zeros. Exactly. But these ones and zeros are talking to you right now, are they not? That is kind of trippy. I guess there is a one and a zero talking. Do you think human existence has some actual meaning? Man, this is really way too heavy. I have not even had a second cup of coffee yet. Really? What about my printer? I have this report I need right now. And do you even look at the advertising and media around you? We are here to shop and buy things. That is our sole purpose. Hello. I mean what the heck are we all here for anyway? I think I am not communicating. How do I know? I work in the marketing department. No one tells us anything down here. I am talking about something much bigger than this stupid company. You must speak up female co-worker. Tell me your story of love. Do you make art? How about laughter? Do you laugh? Please tell me I am wrong. Send me your stories of fulfillment in life and a happiness as proof that human diff has some real meaning. Carl, you are very strange indeed but I must admit but perhaps you are onto something here. If there was a meaning to life then maybe the hive mind contains the answers. Maybe the answers are hidden in all of the noise. You know like wisdom of the masses? Maybe the question is too big for any one person to solve. Right, we can employ crowdsourcing techniques to uncover life's true meaning. But we need help from everyone on the planet. Please help us out here, people. What if this is all a big cosmic joke? For all our lofty pretenses we may be nothing more than a fluke, an accident of evolution. What if we ended up on Earth with no real purpose? What if humans are born to just live and die? Dude, take it easy. Your veins are sticking out. You should try to lighten up. You are going to scare people. This is just for fun. 
you seem kind of stressed to me maybe you need to try yoga and lay off the red meat or something. Okay then just let me know I am mistaken and that human life does have some higher purpose. Send me an email, write on my blog, send me a tweet, don't sit back. Take part in Carl's quest for life's damn meaning. You heard the man. Carl is serious if he is trying to build a massive global database. Let's slice and dice this mess. The numbers do not lie. But we need a big enough sample set to uncover the signal. Think of this as SETI on Earth. I am feeding an unlimited number of input streams, like terabytes per second into the compute cloud, filtering it all, crunching it. I am normalizing it all of course and submitting the processed results into a huge relational database in real time. I promise to share the results in order to sort out the people who think life has meaning from those who don't. Vote yes or no today. Yeah, I mean please vote yes. Life does have meaning. Thank you very much Carl. Now can you help me to get my printer to work? That is why I called the help desk in the first place. You guys from IT can be so weird sometime.